Hi, my people. How are you doing? It is the show store for Mr. Leopard. And today I am super duper happy to have broken free of one of the areas that I've been procrastinating for the longest time possible. And I'm no longer doing that. I'm beginning this line of work. And like a typical politician who says that I have been charged and encouraged by my constituents and the electorate, I am hereby declaring that I'm running for the office of Theracoach. Who is a Theracoach exactly? So a Theracoach is somebody who has the learning, the training, the acumen, the calling, and the understanding of both a coach and a therapist. So I might need to explain that too. A coach is somebody who gets on the scene in your life and tries to understand uh, where you are and where you are coming from and then helps you uh, to achieve the goals that you have set or the life goals and the life dreams that you want to establish. So that could be in your career life. It could be in business. It could be in your personal life. It could be in your spiritual life, if that is what we are talking about here. It could be in your family, in your relationship. So the coach is somebody who helps you to break loose from those behavioral patterns that are withholding you from attaining and achieving your goals. But what is different with a therapist is that a therapist is somebody who is able to understand why you have those behaviors that are bottlenecks, that are stumbling blocks, that are limiting you from actualizing your potential and being effective to achieving your goals. So a therapist is somebody who also understands both what you know, what is on the surface, what is known factually, as well as what is unknown. So they are able to tell those salient things that may not be written on the surface. You may not even be aware of them, but a therapist is able to walk with you and look backwards and explain why you behave in a certain way. And I'm just saying, I'll just throw around a few things. I'll probably uh, say so. For example, you may have somebody who has grown up without the love of a father or the love of a mother, and they are struggling in their personal lives uh, because they feel unloved at any one given time. They're in competition with their colleagues at work, and that is hampering their performance, and they need to deal with that. Or they're in a marriage relationship, and they are projecting this. Maybe you lost your mother, or you lost the love of your father along the way, so you project that by being of a possessive or insecure around your spouse, your wife or your husband, you're afraid that you could lose them. Maybe you grew up struggling and straining and suffering and you tell yourself that you don't want your children to go through the same, but in the process you end up messing up your children because you overcompensate for yourself rather than understanding your children and just letting them go through life as it is, but of course protecting them as much as you need. So a therapist is somebody who is able to look backwards and answer the why certain things happen in a certain way. Probably you grew up under circumstances that were abusive to you. Maybe you were never allowed to express yourself and you have in the process developed certain personality disorders. So maybe you have developed an avoidant personality because every other time you were afraid to express yourself before people or to be around people and it is affecting your relationships with people in the office, with people in the marketplace, with your spouse and stuff like that. So maybe uh, you are not affirmed uh, while you are growing up. You didn't feel loved and this has manifested itself by your craving for affirmation and in the process you end up having um, you know what some people might call narcissistic tendencies and if it is so exaggerated then it could be a narcissistic personality disorder which ends up buying um you know you are trying to protect your estate and your space by being dominant over others and by requiring a lot of affirmation because it is what you're craving for it is what you have lacked all along and you want it and you want to protect to make sure that nobody looks down on you nobody displays the power of prowess above you and so you oppress others you stand over them and you demand for praise from them 
People go through a lot of things. For example, our political space is full of people who are stressed, people who are depressed. You can imagine earning a salary as small as this, but then having a huge number of people depending on that particular salary and pushing you to spend your money to meet their bills. And then when you try to have an extra means of getting that money, they tell you if you are a servant of the people, you must not try to engage in business. And when you try to push yourself a little bit, more they then come up with rules and call you corrupt anytime you have found yourself in a compromised situation now i'm getting into another conversation altogether but i'm just trying to tell you that our political class are people who are depressed and are people who are stressed they have an electorate that wakes up at 5 a.m to make sure that by six in the morning they are in the house of moishniwa and then you struggle you don't have a relationship with your children you don't have a relationship with your spouse because all your space is taken up and if you guard that particular space then you are told you are unpopular you don't love your people enough, you end up losing those particular electoral, electoral positions for that matter. So what am I trying to say? I am saying that I have offered myself to be able to cover that space and help as many people as possible. So I'm talking about relationships you have your boyfriend your girlfriend you need to go through stuff you need to understand who you are you need to understand the other person you need to understand things like love language before you go so far you even want to go through premarital counseling i am your kind of guy i'm there for you you are a corporate person you are a leader in the workplace but then you cannot hold it together in your relationship it's not working you don't understand what is happening and why it is happening that way i'm your kind of guy you are a leader you are a leader in the corporate space you are a leader in the political space and your personal life seems to be falling apart there are things you cannot understand i'm your kind of guy to help you deal with all those kind of issues deal with your personality help you to process your identity because identity and personality development is a continuous process that begins from childhood up to old age you are in your midst they say life begins at 40 but the truth of the matter is that at every one given stage we are learning one thing or another and we are developing certain skills some people develop these skills properly some people don't develop these skills properly and they end up to bite them in days to come and in future in addition to that two things that i would like to say actually three one is that i have had the privilege to have conversations with many people either in groups i belong to a lot of groups a lot of groups a couple groups a lot of uh, you know relationship uh, related groups and i have been doing my commentary then people have been following me in my inbox to ask me questions and i'm encouraging them that now i am available to have these particular conversations uh people have been asking me personal questions about marriage about relationships personal issues sometimes about their spiritual issues and so it is a terrain that i've already been able to cover that's one too i have been there i've had struggles I've, 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 there's a time I've, i mean i've dealt with depression there's a time my business was crumpling my person personal life was crumpling my marriage was crumpling i had a bad relationship with my father and you know the relationship between my mother and my father came weighing so heavily on me affected me heavily in a big way wasted my time wasted my relationships put me at loggerheads with my own siblings but god has helped me to go through all these processes and i believe that there are valuable lessons that i have carried along that i believe i could be helpful to somebody else who cares to want or to need or to desire my in Involvement. I wouldn't want to call it my solution because I don't have that monopoly. Some I will help directly and if I'm not able to effectively help you directly, then I would refer you to somebody. But upon these happenings, I then found the need, I then found the need to study a little more. So I've studied a little more about personality, about identity. You know, I've even written, uh, you know, manuscripts about this and I'll be releasing these books in the course of time um i took time to study to study psychology to study counseling psychology to study clinical psychology too and so i believe that i have 
I wouldn't want to call a polishing, but I have an empowerment that puts me in a good position to be able to help somebody at any level. So parenting issues, you are talking about you're having issues with your parents and you don't know how to go about it. I'm your kind of guy. You're having problems with your children and you would like to be a better parent or to effectively understand and relate and deal with the issues that your children are going through, then I am available to you. I have also occupied the spiritual space. I have been a founder of a ministry, put up a ministry, things did not necessarily work perfect for me at some point and I had to do what I had to do. I had to retreat. I had to go find myself because I felt I had lost myself. God helped me to come around. God helped me to rebuild myself. God helped me to repackage my life, to find my standing in God. And I was able to find my way back into ministry. So now I am in ministry. I'm not necessarily, you know, overseeing a church like I have done before, but I am ministering in another church altogether and I am serving differently with understanding. So all this put together, I have been there. When I talk about the issues that leaders go through, the issues that politicians go through, I have been there. I've been on the road. I've been a candidate. I've been a political candidate. I have run for office. I've run campaigns. I've lost resources. I've had to rebuild my capital afresh from the beginning. I have started businesses. I have crossed businesses. I have repackaged myself, rebranded myself, come along again. And so I have been there. And I believe that all these these things put together have positioned me and placed me in a good place to be able to help somebody. If you were a man and you're struggling with the man issues, now we are saying that the boy child is an endangered species. Man, I'm your kind of guy. I'm there for you to help as much as I possibly can. And how do we do this? Follow me on my Twitter handle. It is at Mr. Leopard Africa. Find me there and let's have this conversation. Find me out on my fan page uh, at Mr. Leopard Kenya. On my even you can follow me on on, on my Facebook account. It's Mr. Leopard Ingwe, Mr. Leopard Morunga Ingwe, but it's at Mr. Leopard. Follow me. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Mr. Leopard TV. Let's have this conversation. You can also inbox me and DM me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. You can DM me on my Twitter. But you can also write me an email, which is mrleopard001 at gmail.com. I repeat, mrleopard001 at gmail.com. You can WhatsApp me. Send me a message on WhatsApp. It is 0721-663-600. I repeat, 0721-663-600. Talk to me. Reach out to me. Let us have this conversation. And in the fullness of time, in God's time, I look forward to reach out to a much bigger audience because I'm just one person. So I will try to develop capacity to deal with many people. But at some point, I may also need to deal with many people at the same time as a single person and probably give you uh, the, the Steve Harvey kind of a show where people are able to just come in and ask questions. Uh, so they can ask in confidence, I would answer publicly. They can ask publicly, I will answer publicly. They can ask in confidence and I will answer in confidence if that is the circumstance or the context that your situation requires. So I'm talking about parenting. I'm talking about, uh, you know, married life. I'm talking about your relationships. Uh, I'm talking about courtship. I'm talking about dating. I'm talking about career talks. I'm talking about spiritual issues. I'm talking about career issues. I'm talking about talent. You, you know, you're struggling with your talent here and then you need somebody to just, you know, help you shape your thoughts and, you know, deal with the bottlenecks of your life, the bottlenecks of your career, the bottlenecks of your parenting, your marriage, your relationship. You are struggling. You are stuck with stuff from the past. You are dealing with daddy issues, with mommy issues. You're dealing with identity issues. You do not, you've never known one of your parents parents and an identity issue is cropping in. You have self-esteem issues. Um, you're kind of a guy. You have answers or questions about, you know, love, love language and those kind of things. You are dealing with marital issues. I'm not saying that I know all the answers. I'm just saying that I believe that by God's grace, I could be helpful. God bless you. It is Mr. Leopard, the showstopper. God bless you. Let's interact. Follow the leads that I have done. 
subscribe to my youtube channel so that you miss absolutely nothing follow me on my instagram twitter and facebook it's mr leopard kenya god bless you i love you i hope i have given you my manifesto and now i can run for my office as a thera coach because we will do both therapy and we will do coaching shalom